Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para talungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa representing real life situations using exponential functions. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ng subscribe button. At ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na like, na subscribe at na hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for activity 1.1, solve the following. A culture of 1,000 bacteria in a petri dish doubles every hour. Complete the table. Okay? So, yung bacteria daw natin na nasa petri dish, kada oras dumodoble yung bilang niya. Okay? So, we have here the table at zero time after one hour, after two hours, after three hours, after four hours. Ilan na kaya yung bilang ng bacteria? So, dahil ang starting bacteria natin at time zero, 1,000 pa lang siya. Okay? Nung uh, lumipas na isang araw, syempre, isang araw, isang oras, dumoble na siya. So, 2,000 na siya. Tapos, after 2 hours, yung 2,000, dadoble siya, magiging 4,000 na siya. Okay? And then, after 3 hours, yung 4,000, magiging 8,000 na. Kasi, doble ha. Tandaan, doubles. After 4 hours, yung 8,000, dadoble, magiging 16,000 na siya. Okay, that's how you are going to do the table. Do doble ng do doble bawat oras. Now, write the exponential model for the number of bacteria inside the box. O, kailangan natin ng model. Pero, ano ba yung formula natin for this uh, exponential growth na do doble yung ating uh, number ng given? So, this is y is equal to y sub o. Okay, ito ay mga ano lang naman, mga variables to represent, ha? Okay, times 2, tapos yung 2 na siya kay small t over capital T. So, ano ba yung mga yan? Yung y natin, ito, ano ba yung nire-represent niya? It is the total number after time t. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ito daw yung magiging resulta kapag tapos nung kung ilan time yung nirequire natin sa kanya. Okay, yung y sub o naman, siya yung is the initial amount at time t equals 0. So, ito yung bilang ng, uh, kung ito, katulad nito, dito sa given natin, bacteria, nang hindi pa lumilipas yung oras na ni-required. So, time 0 pa siya. So, siya yung given. Doon sa oras na hindi pa lumilipas ang oras. Basta, basta at time 0. And then, yung small t, yung nandito sa taas natin, is the time. Kunyari, kung ilan na ba yung lumipas, kung 4 hours na ba, kung 5 hours na ba, kung 6 hours, siya yun. And then, for the capital T, it is the, is the doubling period. Kung ilang oras, ilang minutes, yung nire-require niya para mag-double siya. Okay? Dahil ito to, so, paano natin siya isosolve? O paano natin ibibigay yung exponential model niya? So, yung y, hindi pa natin alam. O, dito muna, y is equal to, yung initial niya, which is y sub o, 1,000 siya, ba? Yun kasi yung given natin. So, 1,000 times 2, kasi dumodoble. Okay? Yung t, hindi pa natin alam kung ilan ba yung ire-require na oras. Pero alam natin, every hour, nagdodoble siya. So, yung capital T mo will be 1. Okay? So, T divided by 1, T lang naman siya, ba So, you will have here Y, and then 1,000 times 2 raised to T. Okay? So, this will be now our uh, exponential model. So, you will have here 1,000. Okay, times 2 raised to t.
Ops of Sweet. I-check nga natin kung tama. O, sige, kuha tayo ng time dito. At time 2. Yung T natin ay 2, ha? I-check lang natin to. Y is equal to 1,000 times 2 times naka-raise siya sa 2. So, you will have your 1,000. 2 squared is a 4. Okay? So, 1,000 times a 4 is 4,000. So, eto. So, tama yung nakuha nating model. Now, how many bacteria will there be after 6 hours? So, after 6 hours, ilan na kaya yung bacteria natin? So, since we have this model, dito natin is a substitute, ha? So, you will have y is equal to 1,000. And then, 2 raised to, ang tinan natin ay 6. So, what is 2 raised to 6? So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. Times 2 is 32. Times 2 is 64. So, 64 siya. Y is equal to uh, 1,000 times 64. So, after 6 hours, 64,000 na yung bacteria natin. Ay, sumobra sa zero. Sorry. 64,000 na yung bacteria natin. Okay? Ganun lang yun mga anak ha. For number 2, the half-life of a radioactive su substance is 12 hours. And there are 12 grams initially. <laughs> Walang space. So, 12 grams initially yan. Ha? So, eto half-life naman. Ibig sabihin, kung kanina dumudoble, eto naman, nagiging kalahati. Ha? Every 12 hours, nagiging kalahati yung number niya. So, at time 0, 1,000 siya. Yan yung initial natin. After 12 hours, magiging kalahati siya. So, 1,000 divided by 2, 500 na lang siya. After 24 hours, or after 12 hours at time 24, magiging kalahati na naman to. So, that's 250. Okay, after 12 hours na naman, so, 36 na yung lumipas. So, 250 divided by 2, magiging kalahati ulit siya. So, that's 125. And then, after 12 hours, kakalahatiin nyo ulit to. So, 125 divided by 2, may point to, diba? This is 62.50. Okay, tama ba? Pag dinibay yung 1,500, 500, 250, 250, 125, 125, 62, 60, oh, 250, 250. Tama ba? Mali ata ako. Ayan, tama naman ha. Medyo na-confuse lang ako. O, tingnan natin ha. Para sure, 125 divided by 2, that's 62.5 or 62.50. Now, write the exponential model for the amount of sub substance inside the box. So, so, para mas maintindihan nyo ito, yung formula ulit natin ha. So, we have here y is equal to y sub o times 1 half ha. Kanina times 2 kasi nadodoble. Ito naman times 1 half kasi kalahati. Raised to T over capital T. We're in Y is the total number after time T. Okay. And then, we have Y sub O is the initial the, is the initial amount at time zero. So, kung ilan siya nung wala pang oras na lumilipas. Okay? And then, yung T naman natin dito will be the time. Yung required time natin. And then, yung capital T is the half-life. Is the half-life. Okay. So, paano kung natin kukunin yung exponential model nito? So, we have here yung 1,000, di ba? So, Y... Teka, bakit ganun? Y is equal to 1,000. Okay, times 1 half. Okay, yung T natin, hindi natin alam pa. Yun yung kung ilang oras yung kailangan nating uh, yung hinahanap ng problem. Tapos over, dahil ang half life natin ay 12 hours. So, yung capital T natin will be... 12. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, you will have your y is equal to 1,000 times 1 half. Okay? Raised to t over 12. 
Now, determine the amount of substance after 3 days. Ilang oras yung nasa 3 days. O, kung sa isang araw may 24 times 3 natin yan. So, this is 12, carry 1. So, 72 hours lahat-lahat ha. Kinonvert muna natin. So, having that, you will have here, formula natin, y is equal to 1,000. And then, 1 half, yung time na kailangan natin ay 72 divided by 12. So, that is y is equal to 1,000 times 1 half. What is 72 divided by 12? Try natin. 72 divided by 12. So, that's... Ay, bakit times? 72 divided by 12. So, that's 6. Okay? So, this is raised to 6. Equals to... Oh, what is 1 half raised to 6? 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times... 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. Ilan na to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is 1, 4 times 1 half, 1 over 8 times 1 half is 1 over 16 times 1 half is 1 over 32 times 1 half is 1 over 64. So, this is 1,000 raised to 1 over 64. Okay, dahil dyan, gamitan na natin ng scientific calculator, mga anak. Okay, lumalabas ba si scientific calculator? Okay, eto. So, you will have here, mga anak, kung nahihirapan na, i-search nyo yung calculator.net. Tapos, pwede naman kayo mag-download ng scientific calculator dyan sa mga Android phone nyo para mas madali. So, 1,000 raised to 1 over, ay, paano to? Teka, 1,000 AC, 1,000 raised to i-parenthesis natin, 1 over 64. Ayan. So, eto ngayon ay magiging 1.11 na lang. Okay? Yung sa inyo mas maliit ha, kasi 100 lang yung sa inyo, sa akin 1,000, kaya medyo malaki pa to. So, again, ilan yun? 1.11. 1.11. One point eleven grams na lang yung matitira sa akin after three days. So, sa bagay, ang tagal naman na din ng lumipas. Now, for number three, Kim deposited ten thousand in a bank that pays a four percent compound interest annually. Identify the given. So yung P mo, yung principal mo ay ten thousand. Tapos yung rate mo will be four. Or, co-convert mo yan, that's 0 0.04. Write the exponential model for the amount of substance inside the box. <laughs> so, ang a formula kasi natin dyan ay A is equal to P1 plus R raised to T. So, you will have your A is equal to 10,000. Okay, times 1 plus yung R mo, which is 0 0.04. Tapos yung T hindi natin alam. So, this is your model now. How much money will we have or will he have after 2 years? So, yung T mapapalitan lang siya ng 2. So, your A will be equal to 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.04 times uh, raised to 2. So, you will have 10,000, 1 plus 0 0.04 is 1.04 raised to 2. Okay, what is 1.04 times 1.04? 1, 1.04 1 times 1.04. You will have 1.08, ha? Huh? So, 10,000, i-ano na ha, i-round off na, 10,000 times 1.8. <laughs> Ay, kalimot is really 0, 0.8. Okay. And then, times 10,000, ilan na lahat yan? So, you will have 10,000 times 1.08. You will have 10,800. Okay. 10,800 na yung magiging pera niya after 2 years. Okay? At ayan nga, sumobra tayo ng 0. 
Oh, erase natin yan. Bakit pumapa next? So, ang answer natin ay 10,800. So, we put it here. So, 10,800 na yung pera niya. Magkantinubo. So, tumubo ng 800 pesos. Okay, ngayon mga anak ko, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Putulin ko na muna sa susunod na video na to part 2, yung activity 1.2 ninyo. Ngayon, ayun na nga, i-comment nyo yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, mahalaga ang mga comments ninyo para maapit ang video na ito at makita din naman siya ng iba. Kaya please sana sa lahat ng video ni Teacher Maria ay mag-iiwan kayo ng comment. Kahit thank you, smiley, okay na yun. Basta dapat may iwan na comment ha. And please don't forget to visit our Facebook page, Love Math TV. Pa-follow naman mga anak ko. Yun lang naman request ni Teacher Maria eh. Ha? At syempre, i-share na agad sa mga classmates baka nababaliw na yung mga yan. At least may guide sila. At uh, syempre, laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!